Hello everyone, I'm Tila Garnett, and I'm here to tell you about a book that's very special to me. It's a father-daughter memoir, wrapped up all in one. My father was film director Tay Garnett. He was known for such classic films as China Seas, A Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court, Batan, and The Postman Always Rings Twice. Here he is with Lana Turner on location for that film. By the way, that was the original version of Postman, filmed three years before Jessica Lange was even born. Needless to say, I loved and admired my father. He was born in 1894 and had been married twice before he met my mother, the actress Mari Alden. She was a talented young actress who appeared in The Barefoot Contessa with Ava Gardner and was Gary Cooper's co-star in Distant Drums. They married in 1953. My father was 61 years old when I was born. He was a true Irishman with a quirky sense of humor. He had begun his film career writing silent film titles for Max Sennett, Hal Roach, and Cecil B. DeMille before becoming known as a director. So he was in the movie business from its very beginnings, up through what became known as Hollywood's golden age. In 1973, my father published his memoir, Light Your Torches and Pull Up Your Tights. The title comes from a line he heard an assistant director tell the huge cast of extras on the set of The Hunchback of Notre Dame. When they were ready to shoot, he'd lift his megaphone and shout, Light your torches and pull up your tights! It became Daddy's motto when the going got tough. Mine too. The introduction for his book was written by his friend, the director, Frank Capra. You can read it, as well as a tribute by Francois Truffaut on my website. My father's life story was full of wonderful anecdotes all about the process of making movies, from the 1920s all the way up to the 1970s. I was lucky enough to have been with him on location for two of his last films. My father worked with some amazing actors, stars such as Lana Turner, John Wayne, Humphrey Bogart, Marlena Dietrich, Gregory Peck, Clark Gable, Jean Harlow, Robert Mitchum, Mickey Rooney, Bing Crosby, Ronald Reagan, and Lucille Ball. In short, my father's memoir served as an important record of filmmaking in Hollywood. It's been almost 40 years since that book was published. It's long out of print. It's my goal to make this book available to every film lover, every film student, and any reader interested in the story of Hollywood's past and the life of a remarkable man. I was 22 years old when Tay Garnett died. In finding my own way in the world without him, and with my mother's death in 2004, I decided the time had come to write my own memoir, something I might leave my two children, my insights on growing up in a film business family. Since we'd begun co-writing projects before he died, I know my father would be very proud to know that both our memoirs are now combined in a book of our own. My father was not just a director. He was a painter, a lover of nature, and life. He played music by ear, the piano, the guitar, and the ukulele. He cooked Mexican food and some of the best bread and cakes I've ever eaten. With him went a part of my heart forever. I miss him every day. Being in the film business has its perks and its pitfalls, lots of both. Hollywood changed over the years. The picture business of my father's generation was no longer. Younger directors were getting all the jobs. My dad's phone rang less and less until it stopped ringing. By adding my own memoir to his, I pick up where he leaves off and follow him to the end of his life. When he was dying, he directed the doctors and nurses from his hospital bed, telling them where to place the cameras. He was a filmmaker to the very end. Funding from Kickstarter will cover editing, artwork, printing, and promotion, as well as getting rewards to all of you. I'm lucky to have friends in the book world who will assist in any way they can to get this job done and get it done well. The website has a photo gallery as well as samples of the writing in this book, both my dad's and mine. It will show some of the rewards I'm offering for your help in getting this double memoir published, including books, DVDs of his films, cards, numbered prints of some of my father's paintings, posters, and a light meter he used on location, as well as a cigarette lighter engraved with his first name. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and to consider this book project as one you'll support. I thank you, and Tay Garnett, who is probably telling St. Peter right now where to put the camera, also thanks you.